Hello, and welcome to part two of making your own Walter the Whale. In part two, we are going to be shaping the face, making the chest plate, the side fins, and the water spout. So let's get started. So next we're going to shape the face. So we're just going to use some whatever color you have, medium weight yarn. I'm just going to use black because that's what I have on hand. And I'm going to take my darning needle again here and I'm going to attach this on. So basically what we're looking to do is we're looking to bring the eyes inwards on both sides like this. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to insert our needle at the top left hand corner of the one eye. So we want to go in the top corner like that. And then we're going to push our needle through. And if you can't get it all the way through, that's okay. Just go halfway kind of thing. So we want to get it as close to the eye as possible and this can be a little bit difficult to do but you just want to make sure it's as close to you, the eyes you can and then once you're in the spot you want to be we're going to go down to the bottom right here and we're going to push it down into the, the belly just like that now we're going to do the same to the other side here we're going to go down to the bottom of the eye here and we're going to push it through like that. And ideally you want to make it so they're not quite in the same stitch and it won't matter because this part of the whale is going to be covered. So if you have a bit of an indent from this, it's, it's totally fine. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to pull. So that's going to bring the eyes in and just pull until you have it exactly how you want it. And then once you have it where you want it, you're just going to tie a knot. And just cut that yarn. Now this is what we're looking like. Now we want to do that again, but we want to do it to the back of the eye so it pushes the eye so it's looking straight at you instead of looking forward. So we're going to do the same thing on the top of the back of the eye now. We're going to insert our hook, insert our needle, sorry, and push it all the way through to the other side. And then we're going to push it down to the back, the bottom back, and we're going to push it down again into the underside of the belly here. We want to just put it in a different spot from where we were before. And then you're going to just push it through again to the other side. So down and then through. We're going to just pull to bring the eyes flat and then we will tie a knot. Cut our yarn tails there. And then we will just weave these ends in. Just like that. 
Now, like I said, you might notice like a little bit of a div divot here in the belly and that's okay. We're going to put a piece of the belly plate is going to go right here so that won't be seen. And that is all of our face shaping completed. All right, so now we're going to start working on our chest plate. So we want to start with our color B yarn, whatever that is for you. I'm going to be using white. And to start off for row one, we're going to make a magic ring. And inside our magic ring, we are going to make eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to close that. And I'm just going to place my stitch marker again here. And we're going to move on to row two. So for row two, we're going to do an increased stitch in each stitch around. So we're going to do increase of two stitches in one. We're going to repeat that eight times for a total of 16 stitches. Three, four, five, oopsies, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. For row three, we're going to do the combination single crochet and increase. Again, we're going to repeat that eight times, and you're going to have a total stitch count at the end of this row of 24. Single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase All right, and that is row three complete. Now for row four, we're gonna do the combination single crochet two and an increase. Two, increase. We're gonna repeat this eight times as well for a total stitch count at the end of 32. I will finish row four off camera and I'll meet you back here for row five. All right, for row five, we're gonna do the combination single crochet three and an increase. One, two, three, increase. We're gonna repeat this eight times as well for a final stitch count at the end of this row, 40. Three, Increase. I will finish this row off camera and I'll meet you back here for row six. All right, for row six, we're going to do the combination single crochet four, two, three, four, and an increase. We're going to repeat this eight times as well for a stitch count of 48 at the end of this row. Three, Four, increase, finish up row six and I'll meet you back here for row seven. All right, and then for row seven, which is our final row of the chest plate here, we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around. We have 48 stitches in this row, so 48 single crochets to finish off this row.
remove our stitch marker. And I'm just gonna make a slip stitch to end off this row. And you wanna cut a good size strand of yarn. I would say probably 16 inches will be good for this just because this is the strand we're gonna to use to sew it on to our whale. All right, so we're gonna take our whale here and we're going to start placing our chest piece here. Now, this is going to go directly on the center of our whale here on the bottom. So make sure you're on the bottom, not the top. And we want to attach this to rows nine through 22 on the whale. So we'll just count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So rows nine. So I'm just gonna take a fabric pin here. And I'm just gonna mark that's row nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And this is where it's going to sit. So just line it up in between those. Now you also want to make sure that you're about three to four, like to five stitches from each eye, depending on kind of where you placed your eyes. Um, so one, two, three, four on this side, one, two, three, four on that side. So that's a pretty good spot. So once I'm happy with where it's positioned, I'm just gonna place some pins and I'm not gonna place it on the very edge because that's what we're gonna be sewing it into. I'm just gonna place these around just to hold it in the place that I have it currently. So just want to look from either side to make sure it's even. And then once you are happy with the placement, we're going to take our darning needle again. And we're just going to start sewing this on. Now you want to sew on every stitch to make sure that it's really secure. So I'm just going to start sewing this on here. go back and forth from the body to the chest plate all the way around. So once we have sewn it on fully, we're just going to take our needle here and we're just going to make a little knot, just like that. And then we can weave in our ends. Here we go. And that is the chest plate attached. So once we are completed with the body and shaping the face and completing the chest plate, we're going to move on to the fins. Now to start, we're going to grab our color A yarn. So whatever you used for the body. And for row one, we are going to complete a magic ring. And we're going to make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna close that tight. Place our stitch marker.
Now for row two, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. So six single crochets total. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. For row three, we're going to do a combination single crochet and an increase stitch. So two stitches in one. We're going to repeat that a total of three times and our stitch count should be nine at the end of row three. Single crochet increase. Now I'm just going to pull my yarn tail and I'm going to just stuff this excess tail inside here so it's not in my way. Now for rows four and five we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. There's nine single crochets in this row. So nine single crochets for rows four and five. Nine, I'm gonna do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now for the last row, we're going to do a combination single crochet decrease. And we're going to repeat that three times for a total stitch count at the end of this row of six. Single crochet, decrease. And that is one fin complete. We'll just remove our stitch marker. And I'm just going to place a slip stitch into this next stitch here. Pull that through. Grab my scissors and leave about a 12 inch strand of yarn. And just pull that through to create a little knot. And there's one fin completed. Now you will need to complete two fins. So complete one more fin with the same pattern. And once you've completed that, we will meet back here to sew them on. All right, so once we have our two fins completed, we are gonna sew them on. So we're gonna take our body here, and we wanna attach the fins to rows 13, 14, and 15 of the body um, directly beside the chest plate. So we'll just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm just going to place a marker right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So between rows 13 and 15, we want to place our fin. So it's going to go pretty much just like this. Now once you have it in the place that you want it, you can just attach it down with some fabric pins. And then we're going to take our darning needle again and our end of the yarn here, the yarn tail, 
and we are just going to sew this on. And then we're just going to end with a knot. So just insert and make a small knot. And then we're going to just push our yarn through to the body. And then we'll sew on the other fin. So sew on the second fin the way you did the first between rows 13 to 15 against the chest uh, plate and then we will move on to the next step after that. All right so once both your fins are tied on I like to just put my yarn tails kind of to the same spot and then I just like to put a light knot in here and that just does extra security. I just like to make sure that my animals are never going to fall apart. Cut those yarn ends and then taking my smaller hook, I'm going to just weave these in. Just like that. Now the last step um, to complete this whale is we're gonna com complete the water spout that comes out the top of the head. So to start the water spout, what we need to do is we need to create a slip knot. And we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're then going to join the last chain to the first chain here with a slip knot. I'm going to place my stitch marker here. Now to begin we're going to do three rows of single crochet six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's row two. So we're going to put complete rows three and four the same way. Now for row five, we're going to do an increase row. So we're going to place an increase stitch in every single stitch around. So two stitches in one, repeating that six times, she should have 12 stitches at the end of this row. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're going to do that again. We're going to do an increased stitch in every stitch around. We have 12 stitches, so we're going to do 12 increase, and we should have 24 stitches at the end of this row. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So this is what we're looking like right now. Now for our last row, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do an increased stitch in every stitch around. We have 24 stitches. So we're going to place two stitches in each stitch around for a final stitch count of 48. I'm going to complete row 7 off camera and I'll meet you back here to sew on the water spout. And there is our water spout complete. We'll remove our stitch marker and I'm just going to make a slip stitch into this first stitch here. Grab my scissors, cut that, and just pull that through. Now we will use our slip knot strand of yarn to sew on the water spout. So before we start here, I'm just going to take my darning needle here and this yarn end that we just um, tied off here, I'm just going to weave that down into the bottom a little bit more so it's out of the way. Don't pull too tight. We'll just push that through. Just like that. And then I'm just going to actually tie these together, but don't pull too tightly um, or else you'll pull your spout down a little bit. I'm just tying it just to add extra security here. And then you could use either strand to tie on your water spout. Now we'll take our whale and we want to attach the water spout to the top of the head from rows 9 to 11. So we'll count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So from here, 9, 10, 11, to here, right on the center of the head. So I'm just going to kind of line up where I think the center is. And then we can just place the water spout. And once we have the place that we want it to be, making sure that it's centered, we can just pin that down with some fabric pins before we sew it on, just to make sure. Just like that. And once it's in the right place for us, we're just going to sew that on. Just remove our pins as we go. And then once that's sewn on, we'll just make a knot, same as we have for the last pieces that we've sewn on. And then just push that yarn down. And then we'll just push this one down as well. So put that on your needle and then just insert it here and push it into the same hole. And 
And then we'll just tie a knot here, not too tight. Cut our yarn ends. And then just take our smaller weight crochet hook here and weave in those ends. This yarn sheds a ton, so you're going to have that if you use this yarn. Here you go. And that is your Walter the Whale complete, your Wally the Whale complete. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I can't wait to see you guys' creations, so please uh, tag us on Instagram or comment down below that you made one. Um, we always love to see them. Um, otherwise, please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!